Hello, my name is Bryant Myers. I'm a certified sports nutritionist, uh, author, TV show host, and I have a bachelor's degree in pre-med and physics and a master's degree in physics. I've spent over the past 14 years researching and testing just about every energy medicine device out there. Energy medicine is things like Rife machines, you know, zappers, etc. And if, if you've heard of these machines, you're probably wondering if they actually work. And, and again, there's just dozens of different things from cold lasers to LED to scanars to ionic foot baths, you know, infrared saunas, you know, just, just a whole range of things that we could put in the category of energy medicine. And of the $80,000 plus, and it's probably a lot more than that, that I've tried, I'm really most impressed with the MRS 2000 plus, and MRS stands for Magnetic Resonant Stimulation. And I want to give you just a short 10-minute overview, and I hope you'll see why that I feel that this is the, the best technology right now in the, in the realm of energy medicine. Uh, so the MRS 2000, so it has 14 years of research and clinical evidence. It's been through four generations, so they keep upgrading it every four years or so. And it's a field called, within energy medicine, pulse magnetic therapy. Okay, this is not to be confused with static magnets you know, like Nikon and static magnetic mattress pads. So there's over 10,000 research studies, I mean research papers and over a thousand clinical studies done on uh, pulse magnetic therapy. Uh, now the MRS 2000 specifically is used by over 400,000 people worldwide and over 4,000 athletes, making it the number one best-selling and most widely used pulse magnetic therapy device on, on the planet right now. So. It's just released to North America and the U.S., so it's kind of exciting. It's a great opportunity uh, to both heal your body and there's a very good business opportunity also. So I want to just go to the next slide here and give you an overview. So why do we need the MRS-2000? Well, our, ancient, our ancestors, uh, based on anthropology studies, walked about 25 kilometers or 17 miles a day. You know, they walked barefoot on the earth. They didn't have any supermarkets, you know, so they had to define their own food. So now the problem today, on the next slide here, we see modern society, the high-tech era we're in, you know, we, we only get on average a half a mile of, of walking a day, and it's with rubber soles, you know, we're driving around with rubber tires, we live in skyscrapers, we're absolutely disconnected from the earth, so we're not getting that natural earth magnetism anymore, and we're certainly not getting the exercise that we need to. And also we're getting bombarded with these unhealthy electromagnetic frequencies like things like cell phones, cell phone towers, computers, microwaves, you know, et cetera, et cetera. And that actually uh, causes a lot of problems with our cellular metabolism, as we'll see here soon. So why do we need pulse magnetic therapy? Well, we discovered very conclusively in the space program about 30 years ago or more that out in space in a zero field without the Earth's magnetism, you, the bone density diminishes, the metabolism slows down, perceptions decreased, and depression was developed. And this was from Yuri Gangarin. Um, I'm not pronouncing that right, but he was the he took a full lap around the Earth, and he was like one of the first people to completely travel around the Earth, and came back just a mess. They had to take him out on a stretcher, and so they had to incorporate pulse magnetic therapy from there on within the space program. And interestingly enough, you can actually your body can survive longer and better without water than it can even without pulse magnetic fields. That's how critical pulse magnetic fields are for the human metabolism and human health. Is you, after a few hours, your body starts to degrade. So the next slide here, we see just a little uh, picture of the cell. And the, the, of course, there's 70, cilia, 70 trillion cells in the body. And metabolism of the cell is basically the sum total of growth and repair, or anabolism plus catabolism. Anabolism building up, catabolism breaking down. So everything from energy, growth, repair, reproduction, waste removal. You know, at the cellular level, the cells have to do all these things that we do on a larger scale. But the metabolism, because the metabolism, it allow, metabolism allows us to think, move, talk, work. Basically, everything we do is based on metabolism. So the next slide here, we see a picture of the cell and you see a positive charge on the outside and negative charge on the inside. And so metabolism within the body is especially focused around, or within the cell, is especially focused on the mitochondria, which is where energy is produced. And the sodium-potassium pump requires, this is the key here, a pulse magnetic stimulus or impulse 
in order to drive that pump. So without that, the sodium potassium pump is how we absorb nutrients, vitamins, oxygen, and get rid of waste, carbon dioxide, and water. Now, interestingly, exercise does help to stimulate the pump, and here's how it works, is that the Earth's static magnetic field, when you move through it, you create a pulse magnetic field. This is why athletes have a better metabolism. But just exercising alone perhaps probably wouldn't be enough now in, in, the day that, in the day and age we live in because of all the unhealthy electromagnetic frequencies. So, uh, so we need pulse magnetic resonance frequencies that are within the Earth's range. And what do I mean by that? Well, the Earth does, even if you sit down and do nothing, the Earth does have natural frequencies called the Schumann resonant frequencies discovered by Winfried Otto Schumann. And these frequencies are a complex process that takes place with this between, basically between the Earth's surface and the ionosphere. It's like a cavity. And lightning strikes, there's about uh, uh, four, let's see, at least four million strikes a day as the number I have here. And those lightning strikes create these, these what's called Schumann resonant frequencies. The main one is at about 7.83 hertz. But you also have frequencies at 14.3, 20.8, 27.3, 33.8. But 7.8 and 14.3, especially 7.8, is the main one. And the hypothalamus in the body has little crystals that actually resonate to 7.83. So we've evolved with, within this natural pulsed frequencies, and they are good for our health. The nice thing about the MRS-2000 is that it provides you with all the frequencies between 0.5 and 15 hertz, which, which takes into, basically encompasses the main frequencies that we need. Now, the problem is that we have all this EMF pollution, which is frequencies much in that ring of gigahertz. I mean, we're talking millions of times higher frequencies than what we naturally need to evolve with. So exercise alone may not be enough to, to really help the cells with their metabolism. And remember, supplements won't work if your pump isn't working properly. So you could take all the supplements in the world, but if, you're not, if your sodium potassium pump's not working, it might just be in vain. So the cells need mainly, like I said, 0.5 to 15 hertz, which are enc encompass the two major resonant frequencies, 7.8 and 14.3. But the MRS-2000 is going to give you millions of frequencies between 0.5 and 15 hertz. And interestingly, that's the brainwave frequencies too. And the intensities of the MRS-2000 are you know, no higher than 70 uh, microtesla, which is you know, the, um, the maximum... And the Earth is roughly, on average, 50 microtesla. So, so anyway, so we, we can see, so getting back to the positive charge on the outside of the cell, which is produced by stimulating the sodium potassium pump, and that's going to help us to reverse what's called the Rolle effect when all the red blood cells stick together. So the next slide you can see here, uh, healthy cells and unhealthy cells. And, you know, when you lose that charge, they all stack together. And this really has an effect on microcirculation. And that's just huge because microcirculation is what's going to, again, get nutrients and oxygen into your, into your cells. So the next slide, uh, you can just see a picture of the console here. And it's very easy to use. I tell people if you can lay down and breathe for eight minutes a day, twice a day, you can use <laughs> the MRS-2000. Uh, okay, the next slide here, we see the pulsating signals are bundles of frequencies. And we've mentioned all that already. And I just want to further add that it's uh, sawtooth. Uh, frequencies, which help to, the sawtooth waveform helps to create additional waves between that 0.5 and 15 hertz. So it's like a, a key and keyhole principle where you're getting every possible frequency that your body needs. So the MRS-2000 and healthy people can act basically to keep you healthy. In athletes, it's going to boost performance. In ill people, it's going to basically work with your body to increase the voltage of the cell, give your cells more, a better metabolism, which is going to give you more energy, to heal yourself. So it's not treating or curing a disease. It's not treating the symptoms. It's working on the causes. And um, the next slide here, without side effects, doesn't take much time. It's for home use, simple and effective for the entire family. And here, the next slide, you can see all the, the different things that it's been research proven to help. Um, and finally, here we have infrared thermography, which uh, is uh, basically showing you here that a difference of two degrees increase in temperature. So that's, that's huge to get a two degree increase in, in body temperature showing you that this is radically improving 
your health and metabolism. So thanks for listening, and that's our 10-minute overview.